What's up, CP family? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Crystal, and today I will be doing Starbucks TikTok hacks. So, for the first TikTok, we're going to create a vanilla bean frappuccino. Take a look at the clip. Okay, in order to make this vanilla bean frap, you're going to need a blender, milk, vanilla, a measuring cup, and a measuring spoon, sugar, and ice. So first you're going to want one third cup of sugar, one cup of milk, a third teaspoon of vanilla, and three cups of ice. So you're going to want to blend it about one to two minutes. And let's see how this tastes. Okay, time for the taste test. So I think I need to blend it a little bit more, but it's not the best. So I rate this like a 7 out of 10. Like I will try this again, but probably once a year. That's pretty bad if you ask me. Try once it. a year? Mmm. I can taste the vanilla. Mm -hmm. I can taste the sugar. The milk is on point. Where do you rate it? Mmm. It's watery. Maybe instead of a cup of ice, maybe like a half, try a half a cup of ice. Or try vanilla ice cream instead of milk. Ooh. Vanilla ice cream instead of milk would be a, a difference and no ice. With too much ice, that's what messes it up. Yeah, but I kind of like it, but I rated it a seven out of 10. What do you rate it? Hmm. 8.5. 8.5? 8 I like it, yeah, I like it. Okay, so the vanilla bean was good. But well, hopefully this is better. Right now we're going to make the Oreo Frappuccino. It looks delicious. I love Oreos and I love vanilla ice cream. So let's take a look. Oreo chocolate Frappuccino. One cup of ice. One, one cup, cup of milk. milk. One cup of ice cream. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Crumbled Oreos. Blends. Blends. Whipped cream. Oreo. Enjoy. Okay, in order to make this Oreo Frappuccino, you're gonna need a blender, milk, whipped cream, Oreos, ice, ice cream, a measuring cup, and a measuring spoon. The whipped cream and vanilla ice cream are completely optional, but I just wanted to try it with this. Cause I feel like it will come out extra creamy and delicious. So, first thing you're gonna need is a cup of milk, half a cup of ice, Three Oreos, if you want to crush it inside, that's fine. And a scoop of ice cream. This is completely optional, but I just want to try it with some ice cream. So, just get my little measuring spoon and scoop just a little bit because we have the milk in it. Okay, so now for the moment of truth. This actually looks delicious. Um, kind of looks watery. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna add the whipped cream. And completely optional, if you wanna add some crumbled up Oreos, it add, uh, add a nice touch. Oh my God, isn't that look good? That looks amazing. I can't wait to try this. Okay, so let's see. Okay. It is watery, but I feel like you can add more ice cream if you would like, or more ice. But I rate this a 9 out of 10 because I love Oreos. Like, and this tastes like an Oreo sundae. Mm. I can't get over it. This thing looks beautiful. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, 
I don't know. It's watery, super watery. Yeah. You can add like a little more ice cream or ice, but. Mm. When you get the whipped cream in there. Mmm. Mmm. It's watery. But with the whipped cream, whipped cream gives it a nice touch that I was missing. I will have to rate this. Eight point five nine. Let's go with a nine, just because I have whipped whip cream. <laughs> the whipped cream is fire. Okay, so that Oreo one was delicious, but now we are making a cookie dough frappuccino. That sounds amazing. How about we take a look at the clip and let's see what you guys think. In order to make this cookie dough frappuccino, you're going to need a blender, ice, caramel syrup, cookie dough ice cream, Chips Ahoy cookies, milk, and whipped cream. Unfortunately, at the store, they did not have the red Chips Ahoy, the regular chewy ones, so I got these soft peanut butter ones. Let's see how it goes. All the Chips Ahoy and all the cookies were gone from the sections. I guess 4th of July, people love cookies, so we'll see how this goes. So first you're going to want to add two scoops of the cookie dough ice cream. Next you're going to want to add three cookies. So this is completely optional. She didn't specify how much caramel to put in, but she put like maybe a little drizzle just like that for like three seconds. A little squeeze. Also did not specify how much ice to put, but she put around like this much ice, like five or six cubes. Also for the milk, she put a little bit of milk, so like that. Now we're going to blend. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells. You can smell the peanut butter from the cookies, and then like the ice cream. I'm not sure how the peanut butter and cookie dough will mix, but it smells so good. So let's just try it out. And then to touch it off, you're gonna wanna add some whipped cream. Oh my God, that looks so good. And to make it pretty, you can add some caramel drizzle. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. You see Wow, it? And look that at the caramel is beautiful. <gasps> All right. Baby, can I look, get a sip? Can look. I get a sip? <laughs> can I get but a sip? look could be deceiving, so. We'll try to test that one. Mmm. I know that is fire. Mmm. You could definitely taste the peanut butter. So this does not taste like cookie dough. It tastes like peanut butter Reese's cup, but it is Fantastic. So instead of using cookie dough to make it more peanut buttery, whatever, you can either use um, regular um, vanilla ice cream or you can use like the peanut butter fudge ice cream that they have. Mmm. Let's see. I think I need more whipped cream on this. Mmm. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. And now, to make it what, baby? Pretty. Pretty. Oh, that looks fire. Oof. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, and ladies, this is a masterpiece. This is amazing. Baby, there's no number that can stop this. <laughs> this is unstoppable. All we need is just a protein in here. Now let me stop playing. But seriously, Ooh, guys, some some banana, banana peanut butter. Ooh, that guys, would be fire. Seriously, seriously, this is beautiful. I just can't wait to see 
what comes next. This keeps getting better and better. This is a 10 right here, guys. This is a 15. I'll talk to you guys later. Let me finish, Let me finish my drink. Okay, so next drink we're going to make is the famous Starbucks pink drink. Me, personally, I love the pink drink. Hopefully, this tastes just the same. Let's take a look. So this one looks super easy to make. All you're gonna need is strawberries. I got frozen strawberries, but you can use non-frozen strawberries, just regular strawberries. Coconut milk, cranberry strawberry juice, and ice. So what you're going to want to do first is fill up your cup halfway with ice. About, about halfway. Next, you're gonna fill your ice halfway up with the coconut milk. About that much. And then you're gonna add your strawberries. I'm gonna add three. And then you're gonna fill up the rest of the cup with the cran strawberry juice cocktail. That's a pretty color. You see how cool that is? Yeah, that looks nice. And then I can't wait to try this. You're going to want to mix it up. And it should be a cute pinkish color. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, let's try this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This actually may be better than the Starbucks drink. Like it tastes. Oh my god. Can I try some please? Yes. Mmm. Tastes like strawberry milk. But I mean, that's what it is. It's strawberry milk. It's not strawberry. It's not strawberry milk? No. I'm sorry, it's cranberry strawberry Mmm. <laughs> it is good. It is good. It is good. It has like, like a coconut feel. It's pretty good though. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to read it. I read it. <laughs> I'll probably go with. I'm gonna read it like a 10. I'll read it a nine. A nine? Nine and a half, yeah. Does it taste better than a pig drink at a Starbucks? Like oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's pretty good. Um, Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not really a strawberry fan, but it's good. It's definitely good for sure. Comment down below, guys, which drink it was your favorite. If you guys have a favorite drink, let us know. If you guys want to see a whole different drink or if you guys want to see part two. Let, let, me, let me get out the camera. Come on, baby. Come on. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I certainly enjoyed tasting all the delicious treats. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'm going to go away and drink this up because it's so good.